In the 21st century, human beings are masters of the planet. Behind us lie 10,000 years of civilization, bending nature to our will. And it all started with one great invention. Not the wheel, not the car, not the plane. The greatest invention of all was beer. Beer has changed the course of human history, not once, not twice, but over and over again, right from the very beginning. It sowed the world's first farmlands. The agricultural revolution came about because of the imperative, the need to make beer. It hewed the world's first wonders. We wouldn't have the pyramids if it weren't for beer. Beer established modern health care. Beer and science go hand in hand. And beer shaped America. Beer is the secret history of America. It's in our DNA. It even ended one of history's great scandals. Beer was part, uh, if not all, of the motivation for uh, ending child labor. And most important of all, it gave us something to drink while watching the ball game. This is the story of the greatest invention of all time. It's an amazing story and one that really hasn't been told. Until now. Without beer, we'd probably still be living in caves. In 9000 BC, hunter-gatherer peoples began to settle down and farm the land. Barley is the first domesticated crop, long thought to have been grown for bread. Evidence in the form of residue from ancient beer jugs suggests that beer was the first use of barley predating bread by 3000 years. Beer was most likely discovered by accident. According to Dave Alexander, interviewed in a National Geographic article, beer is probably the reason for civilization. The article predates the documentary by 10 years. In the documentary, writing, math, and measurement would have never been without beer. Cuneiform was the first form of writing. It was developed to record financial transactions involving beer. Math and measurement was developed from a need to divide up farmland used to grow barley. The pyramids of ancient Egypt could not have been built without the nutrition provided by beer. They calculated it took 231,414,717 gallons of beer to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. Pyramid builders were paid an average of a gallon of beer per day. Due to the excessive consumption of beer, the Egyptians were likely resistant to many diseases, as Egyptian beer naturally contained tetracycline, an antibiotic which was not officially discovered until 1948, 3,000 years later. This was confirmed from tests done on mummified bones. The website Ancient Egypt Online corroborates what the documentary was saying and predates the movie by a year. Beer saved millions of lives by providing a source of clean hydration. This is because all water sources were contaminated with microorganisms. Everyone drank beer, including women and children. They drank six times what modern humans drink, about 300 liters per year. The great demand for beer inspired entrepreneurs to begin brewing and selling beer, which only monks did previously. This created modern capitalism. According to the documentary, this was a spearhead in the creation of trade, commerce, banking, and finance.
Beer provided unspoiled hydration for the pilgrims on the Mayflower. They were headed for Virginia but landed at Plymouth because they ran out of beer. In the 18th century, the American Revolution began in part because of beer. The Sons of Liberty met in taverns while drinking beer. It was one of these meetings that they planned the Boston Tea Party. The documentary implies that this was a reckless act that they may have not risked had they been sober. America also got the tune for a national anthem from an English drinking song. Straight Dope confirms that the Star Spangled Banner used the tune from an English drinking song. Beer is the basis of modern medicine. Louis Pasteur invented pasteurization, a process which sterilized beverages. Most people associate this with milk, but he was actually studying beer. He discovered that bacterial cells made his beer sick and wondered if it could also make people sick. The discovery of bacteria and germ theory led to vaccines and doctors washing their hands which greatly reduced rates of infection. The cold ammonia machine was developed from a need to brew cold lager year-round, which previously could only be done in the winter. This led to commercial refrigeration and air conditioning, which greatly changed the way we live. Modern industry developed from the first automated machines, which were used to make beer bottles. This also led to the end of child labor by eliminating the need for child workers in the glass industry, which was the greatest abuser of child labor. Beer is its oldest civilization. It is still a billion dollar industry and a major force in the global economy. As far as the implications of the arguments made in this documentary, they do not get much bigger than civilization would not exist without beer. The documentary is important because it provides a radical change in the way we have viewed these life-changing innovations. There does not seem to be much debate in historical circles concerning the impact beer has had on our civilization, although it does not seem to be a generally accepted thesis. Globally, beer has caused major technological innovations as well as civilization itself. Locally, our country may still be a British colony if not for beer. Also, according to the documentary, I would not be able to write any of this without beer because writing would not exist without beer. Martin Ives, writer and producer for the Discovery Channel and National Geographic. He's known for programs such as Taboo and The Complete Cosmos. He seemed to be rather credible.